MCV for you one chapter one session three this session we are working on section 1.1 from the textbook which is radical expressions rationalizing the denominator we know that a rational number is a number that can be expressed as a fraction containing integers. The process of changing the denominator from a radical, square root, cube root, and so on, to a rational number is called rationalizing the denominator. In math, dividing by a rational number is preferable to dividing by a radical. Example one, simplify three over four square root of five by rationalizing the denominator. If we times the fraction by one in the form of root five over root five, then the, denom the numerator would be three root five and the denominator would be four square root of 25, which is 20. Therefore, if we rationalize the denominator of 3 over 4 root 5, we have 3 over 3 root 5 over 20. If the denominator is in the form of square root of a plus square root of b or square root of a minus square root of b, to rationalize the denominator, we times it by the conjugate of the expression. Notice that the conjugate of square root of a plus square root of b is square root of a minus square root of b and the other way around. And we know square root of m plus square root of n times square root of m minus square root of n is m minus n, difference of squares. Example two, simplify two over square root of six plus square root of three by rationalizing the denominator. We times it and divide the fraction by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of square root of 6 plus square root of 3 is square root of 6 minus square root of 3. If we multiply square root of 6 plus square root of 3 by its conjugate, we have 6 minus 3. Therefore, the fraction can be written as 2 square root of 6 minus square root of 3 divided by 3. Next example is simplifying 5 over 2 root 6 plus 3 by rationalizing the denominator. The conjugate of 2 root 6 plus 3 is 2 root 6 minus 3. If we times and divide the fraction by the conjugate of the denominator, we have 5 times 2 square root of 6 minus 3 on the numerator and 4 square root of 36 minus 3 to the power of 2, which is 9, at the denominator. 24 minus 9 is 15 and we can reduce the fraction by 5 and have the final answer as 2 root 6 minus 3 divided by 3. Sometimes we rationalize the numerator of a fraction by multiplying and dividing both uh, the, the fraction by the conjugate of the numerator. For example, if we times root 7 minus root 3 divided by 2 by root 7 plus root 3 and divided by root 7 plus root 3, the numerator is 7 minus 3 and the fraction can be written as 2 over root 7 plus root 3. Let's recap. If we deal with a fraction whose denominator is root b, we times and divide the fraction by root b. And square root of a over square root of b can be written as square root of ab divided by b. If the denominator is in the form of square root of a minus square root of b, or square root of a plus square root of b, we times it by its conjugate and we use the difference of squares. As an exercise, Think about rationalizing the denominator 
of a fraction whose denominator is cube root of a minus cube root of b or cube root of a plus cube root of b. For practice, work on exercise 1.1 page 9 of the textbook question 1 part A and F question 2 part D question 3 part B and F question 4 part B, question 6, part E, question 7, part B. Thanks for watching.